Hello guys, I'm Tina, I'm an international student in Sweden and also a digital ambassador for study in Sweden and today I will be talking about the seven reasons why Sweden is the most gender equal study destination in the world. I will be talking all statistic, facts, personal opinions and I'm also really interested to hear what your thoughts are on this topic. So let me know down in the comments and let's get going. First of all, the Swedish government has declared itself a feminist government devoted to a feminist foreign policy. They have implemented something known internationally as the Swedish approach and it basically means the overarching Swedish principle for gender equality is that everyone, regardless of gender, has the right to work and support themselves, to balance career and family and to live without the fear of abuse or violence. Sounds pretty good to me. In 2019, the European Institute for Gender Equality released the Gender Equality Index and with 38 points out of 100 points, Sweden ranked number one in all of the EU when it comes to gender equality and living standards. The very first woman in the Swedish government was Karin Koch in 1947. Since then, things have improved. Currently, 12 out of the 22 government ministers in Sweden are women. And nearly half of the members of the current parliament are also women. As you can see, gender equality in the workplace is very important and very valued in Sweden. However, it's also important to note that not everything is perfect. In 2016, more than 80% of all managers at listed Swedish companies were men. And not a single new business on the stock market had a female boss. As an international student speaking from personal experience, I find the classrooms to be very equal and very fair, super diverse and there are so many different genders, cultures and everything going on, which just adds to a very nice and comfortable environment. I found that professors have no bias when it comes to the gender of the students. I am studying a politics related program and I notice how much we are discussing feminist theories and how much we talk about equality in the classroom. A few of my fellow classmates also already have kids and they found it quite easy, well maybe not easy, but maintainable to have a kid and a family while also studying. This is because Sweden places a huge emphasis on family work-life balance. There is a family policy for working parents which supports the same rights and obligations for both women and men and makes it easier for both parents in Sweden to find a decent work-life balance. Childcare is also guaranteed for all parents and this is an important factor when it comes to equality because it ensures that both parents are able to maintain their lives and continue to work if they want to. In 1974, Sweden was the first country in the world to replace the word maternity leave with the word parental leave. If you remember that scene from Friends where Ross is freaking out about having a male nanny, he probably wouldn't feel comfortable in Sweden as there are plenty of male nannies because so many dads go on parental leave and when they go back to work, a lot of families employ male nannies. Another reason why Sweden is pretty damn good at being equal is this cool initiative. Global Guy Who Talk is an initiative by a Swedish non-profit foundation. The concept is super simple and already in the name. It's basically just a group of guys that get together and talk. But they talk about topics that are rather unusual for guys to talk about. The project aims to give guys the chance to create a more equal society by studying with themselves. Now, lastly, let me introduce you to a few Swedish women you should probably know about because they are pretty awesome and you can talk about them once you get to Sweden. First of all, you probably all know Greta Thunberg. She's a famous Swedish climate activist. Another favorite of mine is Hilma Arf Klimt. She was an artist and she was said to be very ahead of her time and I'm a huge fan of her. And you should definitely go check out all of her paintings. One of my personal favorites is Astrid Lindgren. She is a very famous and internationally published children's book author and I like her a lot because she reminds me of my childhood. And she's also on the 20 Krona bill, which I think is really cute. And as you might know, Swedish people are pretty active and do a lot of sports, so it comes to no surprise that a lot of amazing female athletes are also from Sweden. There are like thousands of them. Alright guys, that was it with the video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave me a thumbs up and also I'm very happy if you write something in the comments. I'm very happy to talk to you and then see you next time. Bye bye!